here. The driver is Mia Moto. Hill one is Oluk Tarzinski. Hill two, Tyler Schweitzer. Hill three, Jack Parfit. Hill four, David Hershevson and Andre De Silva on Hill five. And then we have Fringe Men's C. I've seen a lot of fringe early here. The driver is Kirsten Rioveros. Hill one, Nick Firestone. Hill two, Costas Bogazantis. Hill three, Jacob Huck. Hill four, Daniel Ng. And Hill five, Alan Hung. You think they put Nick Firestone with the brimstone on purpose? Mm. Dr. <laughs> Nick Firestone, I think. <laughs> there's some, there's some real synergy there. The doc. This, this might be my favorite paint job this year. No offense to anyone else's paint jobs, but that's a good looking buggy. There's a lot of good paint jobs this year. I've this been is, impressed. It has been a, a banner year for paint jobs. Although solid black kind of has a place in my heart. I think you're biased on that one. A little. Mark. I'll admit. I'll admit that. I, I like the fun paint jobs because it helps when you're trying to tell your pushers which buggy they're going to push at rolls. You can say the red one, the blue one. You know, um, yeah, there the was black one and the other black one that's slightly wider is what Signu is <laughs> working with right now. No shade to Signu. There was a time when both Pike and Signu were all just black, 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 and we actually got confused. And I think wrong pusher picked up the wrong buggy one time. It was really embarrassing, and that's what you get for. SIGF B, Fringe C, SIGF, one of those teams always trying to make some noise and looking good so far, starting with Hill 1, a uh, fair bit of separation. That's quick. That's quick. Yeah, big shoves, getting a lot of space. And uh, this is SIGF's B team. I'm excited to see who they got on their A squad. Really nice push from 1 to 2. Wow. SIGF has, you know, Good buggies that have oh. variable performance and amazing amount of push talent to pull from, so you never know what you're going to get out of them. There's a wild card. Yeah, Sigep far, far ahead there with the Hill 2 shove. Uh, this could be a very nice competitive uh, B team time. Of course, the ever important free roll and shoot coming up for Sig at B. But nice to just see this buggy rolling, period, given uh, the issues earlier on the women's side. Coming up to that stop sign at about a 56 second, looking to be about the fastest of the day. Oh, little wiggle there, lining up with the flag. All right, she's coming down, looking good so far. And I don't see another buggy in sight, so it's a dominating roll here. Taking the shoot flag. Uh, looks good. Good turn. Solid. Yeah, she moved through. Nice red wheels. No wiggle. Little, little fish tailing at the end. She had a lot of wiggles here, right there by the little crosswalk. Second buggy coming in. Uh, smooth, smooth, but uh, not quick. A good pickup there by Sig at B. Hill 3 has been plaguing teams, but uh, just about textbook right there. Only four or five shoves right here as he gets the transition. 3, 2, 4, Fringe C picking up uh, their Hill 3 as well. Sig at B, the top time right now, 213.14. Can they get above that move onto the top of the leaderboard? Yeah, his pickup was interesting because he he knew it it kind of got ahead of him so he just he, he swatted at it as it went by he got a little extra bump there and then managed to catch up and that's what you do when you get burnt that's the, the proper approach and hill five moving very fast right here again 213 14 the top time of the day looks like they'll be just a touch slower than that but let's see what we're able to get right here from seek fb clock ticking here to 222.56 Nice showing from them. Fringe C coming across here, going over two and a half minutes. Going a little bit further, 240 right now. Fringe C coming across, hands on the push bar, 245.25. Nice. So I'm, gonna, I'm down here at the shoot. There's probably a couple hundred people down here. A lot of dinosaurs from my era. I see Lou from CIA, fan, old alumni from back in the Black Magic days. I see uh, Mr. Spog. He's here. <laughs> I've seen a, a Mr. Mark, you're old. I don't know who these people are. They're old. They're it's old. They're just geezers. I'm uh. a, I, I am full on geezer. I am full on geezer. But uh, it's always great to see good race day crowds, people coming out, supporting their teams, their family, their friends, enjoying this nice, once again, sunny day. 
Well, intermittently sunny, we'll call that. Nice uh, clouds going across. I do want to give some more little mechanic fun hints. So we saw Hydra official a little bit in the shoot, and we see that some buggies have two wheels in the front and one in the back. And we'll see that some buggies have two wheels in the back and one in the front. And so one of the things that teams have to make is which sort of situation they're going to have. Um, two wheels in the front means slightly more likely to fishtail. One wheel in the front means slightly more likely to spin. So it's an interesting trade-off to make, um, and lots of teams like to stick with one. Yeah, that so also imp impacts how the driver will actually steer the buggy as well, which is a consideration that teams look at when deciding what kinds of buggies to build. Yeah, two in back is typically better for the push because you have a nice solid platform to push from and where the, the, the leverage you get when you push a little askew on the push bar, two wheels in the back help you balance that. Whereas mm -hmm. two in front, you get a little more squirrely on the push, but generally less likely to spin. And for you sure. Would, you would say that uh, over the history, trikes two and back are slightly quicker, and yet the quickest free roll we've recorded it has been fringe back in the 2010-ish uh, era that had, uh, you know, reverse strike, two in front. Yeah. For sure. And it, 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 it is interesting just seeing, though, with, with that little bit of wobble, sorry to interrupt there, um, Siget B's time comes in at a 222.53. That's 0.16 seconds behind fringe A, um, about a second behind SAEA. So some of those little, uh, you know, issues like that right there really, uh, maybe taking them off of the top of the podium as we see some of these other top teams uh, coming in when there's really not a lot of separation between a lot.